Hey everybody, it's Zach again at NewTutorial.com coming in making a video for you today. I have some very special guests. Uh, if you've been paying attention to our Facebook page, you have probably seen the trailer that we posted uh, for the new documentary called The Way. And it looks amazing. And so I've had the pleasure of getting to know, to know these two. I'll let them introduce themselves. And uh, I think you're really going to be blessed by what's coming out. And this whole video is to introduce you to them and to give you an opportunity also to help out and be a part of what they are creating. So, uh, Luke and Kate, will you just go ahead and introduce yourselves? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm Luke Abafi, and this is... I'm Katie. <laughs> she's my wife, and I'm a journalist, and she is a non-fiction writer. And, yeah, a writer and a musician. And so we're making a documentary about the Hebrew Roots Movement and about all the people in it, and uh, we're trying to give a personal view of the Hebrew roots experience for people. Very yeah, cool. We wanted to create something where like, because if you tell your friends or your family, like, you know, whatever title you want to say about what you believe now, and they just Google it, like, they could find any and all sorts of things. And we wanted to just meet the actual people and like, look in their eyes, hear their stories and hear what they've researched and follow up those things like with historians and scholars and, um, investigate all these arguments too yeah yeah that's yeah. The <laughs> no the trailer looks awesome i saw um i saw you had a well first off wait 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 back up tell me about the cat what happened with the cat well oh. we have these crazy crazy cats that our neighbor has they always attack dogs big dogs they're and scary i don't know what happened but something crazy happened across the road and the cat freaked out it like shrieked and i like didn't want to look at luke because i knew he was gonna laugh and we're, you know we just tried to finish the take He's like, let's use the cat take. I was like, oh. <laughs> you tried to get me not to. I, it was probably, well, that's what we did. <laughs> it, it was definitely pretty, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny because I, at first I didn't know what you're talking about, but then I had to go back and rewind it because I did hear some kind of disturbance in my head. And I was like, I went back and I was like, oh yeah, that's a cat in the background. <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah. it actually, it actually makes people watch the trailer twice. So. Oh, oh perfect. God, hey, God. the cat was like a blessing. It was the cat. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. So if guys out there watching this, you got to go watch the trailer to know what we're talking about. Um, so it was a very powerful opening trailer. Uh, I think Rob Skiba really did a great job at putting that out there and just, uh, you know, giving it all out of, you know, why would you fight against this? It's just a perfect opening trailer. And um, I thought it, I thought it was, turned out really good. So tell me about that. I mean, you were in San Diego filming part of that, right? Yes, yeah. We were at the United in Torah conference, and that's where we interviewed you and and uh, Rob and Martin quite a Bailey few of the guys. Did you that? Yeah. And yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh, and yeah, that's that was our first day of filming, and then from there we we traveled around. We went over to St. Louis, and we went over to your place, and we went over to New York, and we I I had to go over to even Oxford and London because we wanted to talk to this like big theologian there so he could give the background of what we believe is actually true about the first century church leaving its Jewish roots. And he's like, yep, that's how it happened. And so I kind of wanted him to be saying that too, you know? And yeah, it would be is that, is that the, in the trailer I saw the Catholic priest or whatever, is that the guy you're talking about? That guy, no, that guy's in New York. And I don't know okay. why he agreed to talk to us, but he did. And he was really he was the head of like a big chunk of Catholic churches in um, New York City and Manhattan, and he talked to us about all of these like questions we had and stuff. Yeah. So you think this is going to be pretty powerful for someone who maybe for a family member uh, who doesn't understand what th their relative is doing? You say you're you're doing what now? You're doing you're doing these Jewish things. And then they sit down and watch a documentary like this that maybe their family member has shown them, and they see some of these theologians and leaders of the Christian community churches expressing, you know, where some of these things are from and why we do some of these things. Could it help them have a better understanding and make it have it make more sense? That's what we hope. We really hope. Yeah, that's the plan. We'd like, we'd like. Uh, we've actually seen that already with just the trailer. Some a few people have shared it and said. See, I'm not crazy. Like this is what's going on, and we—that's yeah. what we want. We want people to say, "Look, I'm not crazy. I'm actually right." And uh, yeah, and all these people say I'm right as well. So. And there were so many like 
things we came across that we just had never heard or learned in church. And both of us like grew up in church our entire lives with like tons of theology and all sorts of things. I always loved Charles Spurgeon and have read tons of his things, have his books, and never knew like what he said about Christmas and stuff like that. So that's been really interesting digging up all that information. I cannot wait until this thing is done. Uh, now you're thinking about uh, release date spring 2016. What's what's going on? Tell me. That's the plan. Yeah, I was thinking like May, and then last night Miguel at United and Torah. I don't know if I should even say it. Never mind. Never mind. But <laughs> he said maybe premiere it earlier, and and I said ah, if we can, we can. So sometime in spring, May at the latest, maybe early April at the earliest. Okay, great. So we're I, yeah, really looking forward to this. How much filming you have left to do? We've done like 85% or more. So we have most of the filming done. Uh, right. We are going to go to the 119 guys in January. Awesome. Great. Yeah, great. So, yeah, it, that'd be really good to see them down there. I talk to Steve and John sometimes here and there on Facebook or whatever. So that's cool. Um, so, yeah, so you have my most of it done and the kickstarter campaign that you guys have uh kicked off is is going pretty good but you're looking for more people who want to be able to help and be a part of the project tell us about that so we're funding the post-production now and also the, some of the travel that we've done um and that's what the kickstarter does is it allows us to get the really professional post-production because there's some things that i can't do i can put together this rough cut of the documentary i've shot pretty much all of it with her help and uh, I can cut it together, but I can't do the color correction and the sound mixing and sound mastering. And then it's just the printing of the DVDs. Uh, that's pretty much the majority of the cost. And right, right. And I, someone who has a background in that, I, I can definitely uh, uh, know that that takes time and it takes money and, and it's skill from somebody who knows how to do that for a living. I could try, but it wouldn't look as good. <laughs> because we want the finishing product to be beautiful, polished, and like um, this Kickstarter really helps us do that. And to everyone who's considering supporting it or getting involved, it doesn't matter like what the amount is. If you want to get involved, there are like perks that go from five dollars to five thousand dollars, and you can get the DVD itself. You can get a digital download. Google Hangout with some of the people we interviewed, including a few back and <laughs> <laughs> all sorts of things. So they can check out all those different like incentives on the Kickstarter page and see which one they kind of want to jump in on. Absolutely. I, I became a, a backer this morning. I, I pledged my $100, and oh. I would definitely urge all of my all of my subscribers go out there and just do something to get this thing because I, I really see this could be a very powerful tool. Uh, when people ask you, hey, what are you? what is it you're doing here? All right, check out this documentary. Well, thank you very much, thank Zach. You. Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. If people want to get involved in other ways, you know, we still are looking for some footage of feasts. You know, your footage is good, Zach, and anyone else has anything like, or even of when they're telling their families, most people won't have this. <laughs> <laughs> but those those kind of dramatic parts of the movement like oh you have to tell your family now you're not doing christmas and easter and blah blah, blah. yeah a lot of <laughs> those that, like you posted videos of sukkot and stuff and other people may have and so if anybody has videos like keep one of the feasts like with your family or your fellowship or even just by yourself that you want to share um you can email it to us and our email is on the kickstarter yeah so go to the kickstarter page and then contact you through that right yeah Okay, great. Yeah, so go there, contact them if you have footage. I've got Sukkot footage. Um, uh, I can try to share. It's all raw format, so it's pretty big files. Maybe we could figure out a way to share that with you um, if you need it. But uh, there's probably others out there, too, who have footage, and maybe they can you know, get a hold of you, and that way you can kind of sift through all the stuff and see what you want to use if you, if you need it. So. Cool. That would be great, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think that's about it, guys. So my the whole point of this video is to let people know, go see the trailer. I think you're really going to be impressed. I think this could be a very powerful tool. I think the father is definitely using you guys. And uh, I mean, this is just this amazing movement that's coming up out of nowhere. And it's, it's really the father's doing. People in this country, in my opinion, I've talked about this before on my channel, have been praying for a revival, praying for people to turn from sin. And in the middle of all this, you have this amazing grassroots phenomenon as you stated that is just coming up and people are going back to their bible they're seeing what god says and they're turning away from the things he says he to not do and 
and it, it's a revival going on. It's the, what people have been praying for for years and decades, and it's happening now in what I believe are these last days. And and a lot of people are not recognizing it for what it actually is, and they're saying, "What is going on here?" So um, I'm a, I'm really hoping that uh, this trailer can can help explain some of that. We yeah. hope so. And the documentary, yeah. Yeah, we hope so too. We hope to come home and read their Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Go home and read your Bible. That's right. So, um, all right, guys, I really appreciate you coming on there. I'll make sure guy, uh, people who are watching the video, I'll put uh, a link in the description below of this video on YouTube where you can go to the Kickstarter campaign directly and you can get involved if you need to and uh, just take a look at the trailer. And I, I would encourage you all to just uh, help out in some way, even if it's little. That's a little bit. Uh, I think it, it's going to be very powerful. So anything else you guys want to say? No. Just thank you. Thank yeah. you to everybody who shared it on Facebook so far. Thank you for letting us be on on your show. <laughs> we watch it constantly. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, thank you. All right. Good deal, guys. All right. We'll leave it at that. Everybody, go home. Read your Bible. Thanks.